To become an outstanding hockey player, or excel in any sport, demands a lot of hard work. Players improve by following their coach's suggestions. The coach observes how the players perform and gives advice based on past experience with the sport. But little was known about how the stress of competition is reflected in the function of an athlete's body and how that could affect his or her performance. At Michigan State University, Dr. John Downs, team physician for the ice hockey squad, set up a program to find out. Three times a week, before, during, and after the hockey season, players were given stress tests by running on a treadmill. The faster the belt goes, the faster he'll have to move to keep up. Electrodes on his chest send electrical signals to this machine that measures and records the activity of his heart. The squiggly lines tell the physician how well the player's heart is functioning. Dr. Downs wanted to see if a player's heart would increase in efficiency as it was exercised more during the season. A player's physical fitness was also measured by collecting his exhaled air in large bags. Technicians could determine how well the player's body was utilizing oxygen by analyzing the exhaled air with this machine. Blood samples were checked for levels of substances called lactates, which are produced when muscles utilize energy. The player with a lower level of lactates after strenuous exercise has been able to recover more quickly. All this information about a player's conditions was gathered in the lab. What about during the stress of an actual game? Obviously, Dr. Downs and his staff couldn't string a wire from a player to their instruments, so the signals from the electrodes were sent to a small radio transmitter strapped to the player's back. All during the game, player number 27's heart rate is radioed to the machine up in the press box. At the same time, Dr. Down radios observations on what number 27 is doing from moment to moment. They found that when a player is at rest, his heart beats a little faster than the normal 80 beats per minute, probably due to the excitement of just waiting to go onto the ice. During a fast break or scuffle on the ice, the player's heart rate can go as high as 200 beats per minute. Gradually, a more precise picture is being developed of the physical conditions that contribute to better hockey players. Someday, the team physician may be able to advise the coach on how to train his players more effectively and how to schedule them in a game based on their actual physical conditions. Right now, it's a new frontier in sports medicine, collecting the information that will help determine what makes outstanding athletes.